following video is of a Johnson Viking 2 model CDC AMCW transmitter that just arrived D-Lab for repair. It was recently acquired by the owner. It was told it worked great, but when you see inside, you'll think otherwise. Okay, let's sweep the chassis. First thing you'll notice is that the inside of this chassis is not copper plated like you'd see on a standard Viking 2. Here's the rectifier tubes. I wonder if it's factory built. And yes, it is. There's the red stamp. So that is a very good sign. I don't know if they actually made any of the CDCs that weren't factory built. We're looking at a different angle. It appears as though the clamper tube is missing. I see an extra tube socket down here in the audio section. Over here is the drive pod. It is missing the L bracket. It also is missing the 6AL5 negative bias rectifier. Other than that, top side she looks pretty good. Here we are, our bottom side. And yep, she gets pretty busy under here. It appears as though somebody has been in here doing quite a few modifications. Take a look at that audio section and look over here. What do we got hiding down the side of the transmitter? Who knows? And we got some relays. Now this one I believe is the main push to talk. But this one over here appears to be an accessory with some cut wires. This almost looks like the work of a very famous corn cob. Do you know who that is? Yep, sure enough guys, and here he comes. That cobbler who makes all kinds of work for D-Lab. If it wasn't for him, it'd be pretty boring working on Johnson Viking 2s. So I spotted a bunch of cut wires there, Mr. Cobbler. What's that all about? Well, I'll tell you what, D-Lab. This is how I design stuff. I make it work, and then I do a cost save. I start clipping wires until it quits, and then I hook up the last one, and off she goes. But what's the story of this audio section, man? It looks like quite the mess. Well, that ain't no mess. That's just a whole bunch more audio. You put in more parts, you get better audio. Those Johnson guys didn't have it all together like I do. Well, other than that, I spotted the circus board tucked down the side of the transmitter. Can you tell me what the deal is? Well, I, I can't remember. It was probably something pretty cool at the time. All right, so it appears as though I'll be stripping out all these mods, get the manual out, and wire this guy back to stock. That's the best way to fix these transmitters, especially after it's been handcrafted by the copper. Hey, 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 in my shop, CDC stands for Cobble Dust Circuit, and that's exactly what I did. 